Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video it is time for me to grab one specific nail polish color again and swatch it, talk about it and so on. So yeah, welcome to a new nail polish of the week video and of course be sure to start off with clean nails yourself too. Grab your nail supplies and paint your nails together with me. Of course we are starting off with a base, I'm using one by Trend It Up but just for the record if you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube so yeah let's just slap on this base first I've had some questions on why I still use a base coat whenever I apply nail polishes because I already have a little bit of gel polish base and top coat on my natural nail um, for strengthening and just to make sure that I can easily remove swatches whenever I'm recording videos for you guys so yeah I don't have to apply a base but I just tend to do so because it makes my nail polish last longer because it actually gives the colored polish something to really hold on to to grab onto and yeah my gel polish surface I use a no wipe top coat whenever I'm going to apply a little layer of that it is very very smooth and nail polishes like regular nail polishes tend to like and grab onto things that are a little bit more texture like not super texture but just a little bit that this regular nail polish base coat provides so yeah that's one of the reasons why I do so and also if I have a little bit of new growth that doesn't have that gel polish on there it's just to protect that little bit of natural nails from staining so yeah let's get into the polish that I will be applying for this week's nail polish of the week video and it is one by picture polish I actually got this one sent out by him hypnotic polish which is a really really nice and super easy to get your hands on nail polishes web store that I've been purchasing from a longer period of time now I really really love that web store so yeah definitely check them out especially if you're located in Europe as well because you can get some really beautiful indie brands for affordable pricing as well as affordable shipping so yeah um, I'm not being paid or anything like that to actually mentioned this they just sent out this polish and a couple of other polishes a little while back for me to try out and just do a fun video on so yeah it's not like I'm gaining any like money or anything like that I just genuinely love that web store and yeah let's just continue with the application of this polish because I'm already applying this first coat this one is called bold um, it is a beautiful royal blue kind of color with a ton of holographic I'd say like very small particles it isn't like pure glitter because I feel like glitter is usually rounded or like a hexagon or octagon shape um, but these are more of like little particles like not really flakies or anything like that but a little bit in between glitter and flakies I'd say <laughs> but they are finely milled enough that you can actually remove it really easily as well without having to soak your nails with nail polish remover or acetone for like five minutes it's just really easy to just wipe it off with a little cotton around and just a little bit of nail polish remover I tend to use nail polish removers without acetone lately because of, of course I use a lot of those products for recording my videos but also to remove anything afterwards so yeah I go through a lot of removers and cotton rounds and stuff like that so yeah I tend to use um, not as much acetone containing products lately because it's just so drying for my hands and nails and skin I just felt like after a while it wasn't doing any good for my skin and my natural nails and we all want to like keep and cherish our natural nails you know so yeah that's why I actually choose to not really use acetone anymore um, I don't really use acetone for my gel polish designs anymore either to soak it off I just prefer filing it off and just apply a thin layer of base and top before going in with the whole manicure so you still have a little protection barrier if you know what I mean but yeah that's a whole other side note <laughs> I just tend to ramble a lot during this video so if you're new and you're like what is this woman talking about 
uh, this is like my me time, just relaxing, painting my nails, talking to you guys and with you guys. So if you have anything you'd like to share or tell me or ask me or anything like that, don't be scared to leave a comment. I always reply to all of you guys. And I just love hanging out with you in my comment section as well. But yeah, I have already applied the first coat of this polish. It is gorgeous. It is still a little sheer on the first layer though. So yeah, it's it's not too shabby. And yeah, I've actually already applied the second one as well. I'm just talking way too much today. So I'm totally not like keeping an eye on my footage now recording this voice over. And now I'm like, oh, I've actually already applied that second layer. But you know stuff happens that's life i get distracted everyone does <laughs> but this color it's really beautiful it is perfectly opaque within that second coat and of course you want to make sure that every single nail polish layer that you apply is completely dry before going into the next one and after waiting for i'd say like five minutes for that second coat i'm going in with a top coat by orly i just recently have been trying the orly top coats i've got a couple of different ones i'm not quite sure which one i like best yet but this one like the won't chip kind of top coat it is pretty decent but i think i like the super glossy one a little more but yeah, I haven't tried them long enough to really have a decent idea of which ones I would recommend for what polishes. So yeah, just give me a minute and I will try to figure that out for you. Also, if you hear like some background noises or maybe some wind like blowing um, like towards my microphone, that is because it is hella hot at the moment of recording this voiceover. It is like 30 degrees celsius here in the netherlands and that is pretty hot for us dutchies we can't handle this <laughs> but my windows open so yeah sorry if there's like some blow noises or windy no noises going on i'm really sorry about that but otherwise i really can't manage to do these voiceovers and actually edit videos because with my computer and all it gets so hot it's insane but yeah but this was pretty much the entire new nail polish of the week video already it's a quick and snappy one nice and rambly but i know that a lot of you actually like me talking a lot in my videos so yeah definitely let me know what you think about this color and also what color are you wearing yourself on your nails right now let me know in the comment section down below i'm always curious to hear about that and maybe get some new inspiration for an upcoming video but thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i hope to see you in my next video.